Welcome to ADHD Power Tools, where we give you the tools to unlock the power within. Hello, Brooke. Today, I want to talk to you about stress. Now, everyone out there has obviously has dealt with stress before, but us with ADHD, I bet you know, um, as you know, myself with ADHD, stress is um, is something that we all want to, you know, you know, learn some tools how to manage. Um, so what are some tools you can give our audience and how to manage the stresses of you know our, our daily lifestyle? Yeah, ADHDers suffer very often from emotional regulation. And mm-hmm. um, when you are stressed out, it really shuts down your executive functions. Mm-hmm. And it makes it hard to think in a way that is, you know, growing you. And it's hard to identify when things are going to stress you out and be proactive about it. But what I can say is to be proactive with stress as much as you can. So do the things and incorporate your daily routines that manage your stress and that you, that start your day for you on a positive note, like you're Mm -hmm. not Mm -hmm. think about your non-negotiables. So whether it be meditation, drinking water, getting a good night's sleep, all of those things that create a healthier lifestyle for you to manage your stress a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Those are important. Mm -hmm. Um, But then as far as a reactive strategy, let's say you're starting to get stressed. Mm -hmm. Don't make any decisions when you're in that state that you don't have to. So Mm -hmm. if you're getting stressed out about a project or you're getting stressed out about a friend, I like to, mentioned to take on the 24 hour rule. Mm -hmm. So take 24 hours, think about what it is, Mm -hmm. put that thought to the side, come back to it 24 hours later. Is it still bothering you? Is it still something that's important? If Mm -hmm. so, then you're going to be most likely in a different mindset and you'll be able to tackle it better. Mm -hmm. Another thing that stresses out a lot of us ADHDers is organization. So we can't find something. So mm-hmm. we're just throwing things around, looking for it, and we're stressed out. How often do you not find that thing when you're stressed out? Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. drop it, mm-hmm. come back to it when you're not stressed. And I, the odds are that you're most likely going to think about where it is and be mm-hmm. in a better place to find it when you're not mm-hmm. stressed. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the 24 hour rule a lot. You know, uh, I think this is the first time I've heard of it, but it makes so much sense because. Um, sometimes, you know, we're having a bad day, we're stressed, there's so much on our mind, and there's so many tasks. But then you have to come to realize the next day, you might wake up feeling totally okay. And you're going to move on. And you're going to, you know, tackle that task and complete it or, you know, that problem and solve it. And um, I, you know, there's always going to be a new day, a better day, and it'll go by, you know, and I, I, I like that a lot. Uh, for me, as a, a fourth year student at FAU, um, there's the stresses of going to medical school are all over the place. I tests after test after test. And um, I was once, obviously, you know, I was uh, my side job as a server at Papa's Raw Bar. It's a restaurant. I go there and I serve customers. And that's obviously a bit stressful too. But I, I bumped into a customer. He's an eye doctor, ophthalmologist. And I was telling him how I'm a, you know, um, pre-med student. And he's like, listen, um, are you in medical school yet? I was like, no, I'm not in medical school yet. He's like, once you get into medical school, it's going to be very stressful. The way to look at it is just look at the next test, the next exam, and nothing else in the future. Just focus on your next task or goal. Put all your effort into it and move on to another one. And it's going to take a long time, but you'll get there. And um, I always go back to that statement he said. It's like that one problem, that one, you know, exam, solve it, study hard for it, and move forward. It's going to be stressful, but the, only, the best thing you could do is do the smallest amount of productivity and obviously take breaks because it's, you can't just, you're going to be stressed out of your mind if you're not taking breaks and relaxing, getting a good amount of sleep, and getting a good diet, and surrounding yourself by friends when you need to and family. But um, 
it, it's just moving on to the next one, keeping going forward. Yeah, I think of and visualize a ladder, um, mm. and someone taking little small steps to get to where mm. they need to, and they're they're manageable, they're reachable, or someone trying to reach for a very very large step and falling short and having a hard time getting back. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. totally hear you. Small steps, focus on what's now, focus mm -hmm. on what you need to tackle, not about the foreseeable future, even though you have your long-term goals and your mm -hmm. quarterly goals. Mm -hmm. And um, you had mentioned something else. So you said the small steps and there was something else that... The, I, I talked about um, tackling the exams, moving forward, taking breaks, relaxing. Taking breaks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the breaks, when mm -hmm. Stephen Kotler, who is a big flow guy and he's awesome, mm -hmm. talks about how- is he, is he an author? He's an speaker. author, he's a speaker, he does courses, mm -hmm. everything. He talks mm -hmm. about when you over-focus, you hyper-focus, let's just say, right? And you get to that point of that stress um, or the, the shutdown because you're hyper-focusing, it's mm -hmm. really, really hard to get back your energy um, and you're just wiped at that point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you mentioned taking breaks, it gives you that oxygen flow and gets you back into your concentration mode and into a more mindful state. So don't mm -hmm. be afraid. I know we love to channel our hyper focus, but just remember that it can cause you to have this like stress hangover of being mm -hmm. so tired afterwards that it's hard to get back into something. So taking breaks mm -hmm. in the Pomodoro methods, like you mentioned. Um, exactly. Especially with us with ADHD, it's like um, our brains are going so fast, multiple tabs open at the same time. And like you mentioned earlier, when you lose something, you are super stressed. Like I, I know for sure I'm freaking out, looking ever at trying to find that thing happens to us with ADHD a lot we lose and misplace things but um just taking a breather taking it one by one slowly and trying to focus on every step and thinking twice I think before everything kind of relieves that stress taking the breaks and um trying to analyze everything visualize it write things down I'm really my my notes app is has hundreds of thousands of um folders and notes just because I'm Try to take it one by one. Yeah. 100%. And when you said take a break, take a breather, a mm -hmm. nice technique is when you're starting to feel a little antsy and you're feeling mm -hmm. stress, mm -hmm. there's this four by four activity that I love to use on myself, my clients. I actually used it with my husband this mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Breathe in for four seconds. You can try it now if you want. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold it for four seconds and then breathe out for four seconds. Repeat that four times. Okay, let's do it. There you go. <laughs> I feel stress free now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, wh wh where are the directions for that? You said it, the four. It's called a four box or a four square. So, okay. you breathe in for four seconds, hold mm -hmm. it for four seconds, mm -hmm. and then you breathe out for four seconds and you do it four times. 100%. 100%. 100%. That's awesome. Yeah. Just take a breather, like just like that, and uh, take on your day step by step, visualize it. And make sure your sleep and diet are key. We have so many episodes on sleep, diet, um, dealing uh, with long and tedious tasks um, that, you know, so many things that do cause us stress, us with ADHD. So go check those out. And um, yeah. Yeah.